Hello, this is Nitro, and we are back with Astroneer. I've played this game before, but we're playing it again. And so, let's just start an adventure game and see where this takes us. So this is Astroneer. It's a survival game based off of your exploration and uh, collecting resources, building technology. It's a very good game. Unlike Minecraft, it's very survival based. Wow, we landed right next to a shipwreck of... Ooh, they have one of those gyrosphere things. Wow, they've updated it a bit since I played it last. This is going to be an experience. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this series that we're going to be doing. Alright, here's just the info. I know all that. Now, I am slightly unused to the controls. Let's see, how do you pick stuff up? Okay, it's the right button. Alright, that's nice. Now, this is the thing I wanted to see. We just found this. You're not supposed to get this till way later. Wow, this is nice. Well, we basically just cheated the game by getting this thing. Anyway, let's stop. Whoops, there we go. Anyway, so you're not really supposed to start the game this way, but I am. Oh. This is interesting. So what's this? Oh yeah, we're supposed to install the oxygenator. So right now you're just setting up your base for now. But soon we'll be flying to other planets and setting up bases there. Now there's one time in this game I encountered a soft lock. So I hope you all don't mind if I take a little extra time to think things out. So let's check our base computer. And now we need to connect tethers, so we just pick these up. And I believe to place a tether, you just place like this. Yes, that's how you do it. This wreck, you're not supposed to really land next to, I don't think. But it has a lot of nice supplies that we could probably use later on. This we could use right now. It's a power source. A solar generator. We can just put that on the side of our base. Right here. Now let's see the base computer, what it has for us. Alright, resource canister. So if we put that on our mining tool, we can use it. And what else do they have for us? Gather compound, gather resin. Fill a canister with soil. Easy enough. So we just have to find our way to a compound vein. Actually, you know what? We're going to do this kind of a cheatsy way. We're going to use that gyrosphere. One second, let me get to it. Let's try to use this to find a resource vein. Now, can you pick this thing up? I think you could. Now, right now, we're searching for a compound vein, which should be anywhere. That, is that a new ore? Oh, it's graphite. That we don't, oh, we don't need to later. Don't want to fall in any of these canyons. This game, oh, wow, they've added, like, regions. That's interesting. I don't think they had that back when I played it. I mastered the game, but they seem to have added a few new features. I quit playing this game right after that train update. That's not a big enough vein, I don't think. One nice thing is when you're riding in this vehicle, you don't have to use tethers. So we're basically not really cheating, but somewhat cheating by using this thing. Anyway, I s Oh, there's compound. Let's get it. So all you have to do is get out, get out, use your mining tool, 
mine it up. One. Two. Three. Four. One interesting thing about this game, not sure if I like it or not, is that resources are collected like one by one instead of things like Minecraft or as we saw in No Man's Sky, where you collect a ton of resources of a certain type. This you just collect one or two units of it. Not sure if I like that or not, the way this works, but once you unlock storage silos, it's a lot better. Because in this game, it can go a lot further than your character's inventory. Your vehicles have a lot to do with how much you're doing. So we got one. What do we have? Okay, we have four resin. Alright, now what's it want me to do next? Let's go back to the base first. Now, I'm not perfect at these new controls because... I've been playing other games lately that don't really have this kind of control method. I know they have keyboard functionality, and I used to use that a lot. We might do that if I get a second keyboard set up, but right now I'm using my keyboard for uh, OBS, the computer. I'm playing this on my Xbox, by the way. It's a digital. I'm not sure if they have a physical version, but I'm playing the digital version. Let's see. So they want me to get out. All right, just place down this platform. Let's see, where are we gonna put it? Let's put it here. Now I've seen some people do like mega bases and stuff for this game. I don't know what I'll do as far as automation and stuff goes, but we'll see what I can do. Right now we're just doing the basics though. Setting up our first base. I hope you all enjoy this playthrough because you seem to enjoy Terratech in this game. It's very similar in a way. Very different in another way, but it's a good game. I really like it. Anyway, let's continue. Uh, what does it want? Print a medium printer and then put it on the platform. Got it. Is crafting changed? I don't think it has. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I don't know. It's been so long. Anyway, let's save in our shelter. Now, check out this. One thing I'm upset about in this game is that there's no first person. Just because it's useful to sometimes have in these types of games. When you're in a tight situation or something. But I don't know. What do we have to do next? Alright, so we, they gave us a large platform. We can use this to upgrade our base. Attach this here. Lock this down. Now let's see what they have next. Unlock and print a smelting furnace. Refined aluminium from laterite. And then the science chamber, all that. Let's try the smelting furnace, because that'll be very useful. Oh, we haven't unlocked it yet. Where's the smelting furnace? I think they tell us these things. Why don't they? Oh, we're in the wrong tab. Whoops. No, just... What have I... Where's the smelting furnace? I unlocked it. Compound and resin. We have enough compound. One second. My button's stuck. There. We have one compound. We have two resin. Where is it? I just see the research chamber. Am I... Okay, so they have changed crafting. There's like sub menus in it now. I see. I see. Now, let's continue. They want us to connect... Uh, 
small power generator. I can do that. There we go. And that will make everything go faster. What are they giving us for this? Oh, a battery. This can also help. I like the fact that there's a lot more machinery in this. It's less about building and more about crafting, if you know what I mean. Now let's see what else we have to do. Fully charge a battery. Is this thing producing power? I think it is. We're going to have to connect it to the network then. Do I have extenders? I don't think I do. But we have to get that attached to the network somehow. Because uh, if that's producing power, then we really need it. Gather lithium, use a research chamber, put on the upgrades. Let's try the aluminum one. First, let's craft some storage. Now, let's look for the aluminum. I'm not sure if this is a good location for our tunnel, but we're going to do it. Yeah, we're going to have to install some upgrades soon. Alright, we've found a cave. Now, how do you switch drill modes? Oh, I see. It's the left and right buttons and let's just even though this game reminds me a lot of No Man's Sky it's not really oh I forgot you have oxygen whoops it's not exactly the same in a sense your character really depends on various technologies to get him through instead of No Man's Sky where you can just explore and do whatever you want this you're very limited by your technology. Oh, we have to hurry before we suffocate. Yes, we did it. Okay. Note for self. Use tethers next time. There we go. Now let's just continue down into the mines. This feels more realistic in a way, even though it isn't. It feels like it's more realistic. Hey, isn't that rare for this planet? Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's gonna get us. Let's see about researching this. Is there a way to not have to hold buttons to do that? As you can see, that's a very No Man's Sky esque mechanic. Let's see about finding this aluminium. I'm saying it that way on purpose. as Because that's the way they say it in some countries. But in America they call it, or we call it, aluminum. Let's see about getting this laterite. That's not very good. There we go, that's better. There we go. I just have to attach tethers. Now, there is a way to cheese some of these missions. And I'll probably be doing it. But right now, we're still in the basics. Now, one thing they don't really explain, and they might have with the new updates and whatnot, I don't know, is how is your character... I mean... You know the purple gateways? You probably don't. 
But the purple gateways in this, they don't ever really explain why they're there. Like, what do they do? And I've always wondered that. They're just like teleporters. And they activate the planets or something. But it never really explains why they're there, or who put them there, or what they're useful for other than just teleporting. It'd be nice if they explained that a bit more. Let's continue up and see about finding some more compound. We need that to make more tethers. There's none nearby. We'll have to um, use this. There we go, we found some compound. Let's just mine as much of it as we can because we have the room. Now the only thing about this game that I don't like is the fact that these planets aren't infinite. You can't travel beyond this system really. At least I don't know of that. It wasn't around when I played. You only have one solar system. And if you run out of resources on one by some means, I don't know how you could, but if you were to run out of resources, they don't respawn, basically. You have limited resources on every planet. I mean, they're not heavily limited, but they are limited, and that's kind of a downside in my opinion. It'd be nice if they had a way to generate more planets. But then again, that might take away from the base building of it. I don't know. I'm not a developer. Why is this battery here? It should be on the side. Guess that's a little compulsive. Let's just put it there again. Check the base computer for more missions. Oh yeah, the ladder, right? That's what we were doing. Let's craft some tethers. And probably want to empty our inventory of all this compound. Keep one on us just so that we can make more tethers if we need them. But remove all the rest. Let's roll. Now eventually, we're going to get to a point where resources on this planet will become almost limitless. And then it'll only be a matter of getting resources on other planets. And, it, and when I say limitless, I mean just extremely easy to collect. We will have stuff like rovers, uh, trailers to hold more, and all kinds of vehicles and machinery, even auto extractors that can collect resources autonomously. So all very good. Is there any more ladder right here? I don't think there's that much left. Let's continue our search. When's that gonna... Oh man. There we go. I used to be real compulsive about this game, and it used to cause me a little bit of problems progressing. But hopefully I've gotten over that. That way we can make progress faster. Which isn't that what everybody wants. Let's see. Research these. Bytes. When it's talking about bytes, those are what you need to research things in this. The tech tree, essentially. Alright, this direction doesn't yield anything. Let's continue. 
Let's try in the other direction. Hey, there's some laterite. Any more? Yeah, there's more. Uh-oh. Why am I... Uh-oh. Is there a toxic plant? Yeah, there is. I can hear it. Where is it? I hear it, but I can't see it. Let's just get out of here. We have all that we came for. If you're wondering why my character looks this way, it's because I've unlocked a lot of customizations for him over time. I'm sure he'll look different later, but right now this is how he looks. Actually, you know what? After this, I'm going to customize him the way I want. But first, let's get this stuff refining. Oh, it needs turned on. There. I once built an auto-refueling generator in this, and I was pretty proud of it. Anyway, I'll customize and then see you there. There. Our character is customized, and I think he looks very good. Now let's check our base computer to see what mission we've completed. Oh, they gave us more storage. Let's put that on our smelting furnace. If you put something on the same platform as the furnace, it'll automatically smelt it. Let's see. Let's try... I don't know. Let's try retooling. Terrain tool. And then boost tool. I think. I think we'll need... Let's see. Drill mod. Boost mod. So I know what we need for both of them. Let me just collect it. Whoops. Getting a little messed up as far as the buttons go. So, what we're going to need is zinc. And that comes from... I don't know what... I forget. But we're going to find it. Whatever it is. I know what it looks like though, so we're good as far as that goes. It's this stuff. We can actually use that later. I'm going to collect that just in case. Actually, no. I don't think we need it because they'll be making us make one for a mission anyway. Sphalerite, that would... I can't resist. Let's take that with us. We're going to take it up. And I'll see you there. Alright, we're up. And so, we got our medium generator, but first we're going to need to craft a platform for it. So let's just craft that here, the platform, then our sphalerite will need to smelt, and it's still working on the carbon though. Can we do anything for power? Yes we can. Collect some organic matter. There we go. And soon we'll have a generator set up to help us with that as well. Still not. Okay, we got it. So now we can get our generator up and running. Whoops, it's unlocked. Now it's locked. There we go. All is locked. Put on the generator. And install our zinc. There's the drill mod crafted. Now this will use power so you have to remain on a tether for this to work. Now, zinc. Now we need the boost mod. Here we go. Why is the carbon... I mean, why is the comp... There we go. Well, 
that's all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, do all the things, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.